we have a double-edged notch plate, which is subject to, to an axial force, as in figure A.11 part B. And we have the information for the dimensions. In part A, our goal is to determine the stress concentration factor, and then we will estimate the fatigue notch factor. From figure A.11 part B, for W2 over W1, which is 54 over 63 in our case, and it is equal to 1.5, and for the notch radius over the first width, which is 6.3 over 36 in our case, and it is equal to 0 0.175. The stress concentration factor becomes 2.35. We know that the not sensitivity, which is Q, is equal to the fatigue notch factor minus 1 over the stress concentration factor minus 1. And we will determine the notch sensitivity using Peterson model. According to the Peters model, the notch sensitivity is equal to 1 over 1 plus alpha over the notch radius. To calculate alpha, we will need to use the equation 10.7. We know that the logarithm of alpha is equal to And we know that from table 9.1, the ultimate strength is equal to 415 MPa. And when we compute this equation with sigma u being 415 MPa, we will obtain alpha is equal to 0.3262. Millimeters. So that the notch radius becomes 1 over 1 plus alpha over the notch radius, which is 6.3. And it will be equal to the fatigue notch factor minus 1 minus 2.35 which is the stress concentration factor minus 1. And we will get the fatigue notch factor is equal to 2.28. Now we can move to part B. In part B, our goal is to find the completely reversed force amplitude, PA, that can be applied to the notch member for 10 to the power of 6 cycles and the safety factor will be 2.5 in stress. In the question, it is suggested that the fatigue limit can be estimated from figure 9.4. So when we look at that figure, we see that sigma e will be equal to 0.5 times the ultimate strength and we also know that the sigma e is equal to the fatigue notch factor times sa and again it is equal to 0 0.5 times sigma e we know that from figure a.11 sa is equal to pa over the width 1 times thickness and it is equal to the half of the ultimate strength. When we leave the 
first amplitude alone and substitute the values, we will obtain PA is equal to and it will be 16.38 kilonewtons. But don't forget to consider the safety factor, which is 2.5. So that the safety factor in stress will be equal to the force amplitude over PA bar. PA bar will be equal to PA over safety factor we know that PA is 16.38 kilonewtons and the safety factor is 2.5. So that PA bar will be equal to 6.55 kilonewtons.